Trent Simpson a dog. You you know, dogs see dogs. This is a dog right here, man. He want to be great. I can see the aggressiveness in the way that he prepares, in the way that he practices, in the way that he trains. You know what I mean? He had a really solid pro day. You know what I mean? And he wasn't shy about the pro day. There was some savages in the building. Mike Tomlin there. You know what I mean? And he's showing out and he talking his talk while Mike Tomlin is in the building. And you got to respect the confidence. You, you got you got to acknowledge when a player wants to be great. In the film, this guy shows up. You know what I mean? In multiple ways that you would expect a young guy with a high motor and the upside of his has. I'm just blown away by some of the things that, you know, he's able to do as a collegiate player. The smarts, the ability to diagnose any situation that you win. You know what I mean? Some of this stuff can be taught. It can be taught. So, you know, without further ado, let's look at how some of it, you know, show up on the film here, man. The retraceability is crazy for me, though, man. You know, the, the ability to diagnose the screen here and cover so much ground with that 4-4 speed and, you know, get the ball carrier down for a small gain is just remarkable right here. Again, you see the retraceability on full display, the ability to shed a tackler, you know, retrace, use that 4-4 speed and, you know, get a guy to the ground. The speed shows up on camera. You know what I mean? It's always showing up on camera, especially in the form of a retrace. He doesn't give up on the play. That's the biggest thing that I got from him. And, and, and don't get it confused. He could cover. But the, the retrace speed, you know, is what blows me away. Retraces right here, rips that ball out, ball on the ground. Goes out of balance, but that's the type of effort you need on championship teams. The ability to know where the ball carrier is, to shed blocks and always get to the ball. His 4-4 speed shows up on camera. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's rare that the speed shows up on camera. You know what I mean? A lot of guys can run straight line, but his instincts and speed show up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We back. Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you. And I am the best reporting on the Eagles. As always, before we get into the meat and potatoes, I got the link for all the hurt season hats, the trucker hats, the snapbacks. You already know how we giving it up. The 22 birds jumping out the gym. Got another um, another T-shirt design that's coming out real soon for the people that's interested in the merchandise. But let's get into it real quick. Let's talk about the recruit, man. Let's talk about him, man. Uh, Clemson Tigers, Trenton Sanders. Simpson. Um, this is his NFL draft scouting report. He had 34 tackles last year, two and a half sacks, two forced fumbles. Uh, the Clemson linebacker Trenton Simpson projects as a hybrid defender at the NFL level who will be best implemented on passing downs and is pot and is put positionless. I'm sorry. And as a positionless defender who attacks defenses in coverage and zone blitz looks. Uh, he's a skill-specific player who, when used right, can be an impact starter. I see that a lot on film, man. They talk about him originally being a five-star recruit from a military family. Um, so that talks about work ethic right there. You know what I mean? Being a guy who was in the military uh, myself, you know, you, you learn certain values. You learn your strengths and your weaknesses at an early point when you're um, attached to a military family or in the military yourself. So you know that, you know, he, he understands uh simpson's role throughout the course of his career with the tigers was were expansive this dude was everywhere on tape his versatility and ability to hide in personnel packages in 2001 under venables guessing that was his coach who had simpson taking snaps everywhere every which way from deep safety uh playing games across in front as a scheme pressure player and triggering from death as well as a will linebacker uh, modern linebackers who move the needle are the ones with skill sets to contribute on the passing downs and Simpson looks ready to go uh, go at that on all fronts. So, you know, they talk about his versatility. Um, you know, the, the tape speaks for itself, man. The tape speaks for itself on this kid. I think he's a guy that we need to implement or a guy that if we draft it, a guy that we can help, man. Because you look at the landscape. For, uh, for the linebackers for the Philadelphia Eagles right now. If we didn't draft N'Kobe Dean last year, we would be in a terrible position. A terrible position. And you know, when I, when I think about right now my free agent wish list, Bobby Wagner is at the top of that list because we need linebackers now. It started off with everybody wanting a cornerback. Now you need to go out here and get some linebacker help. You need linebackers. Like, come on. Remember two years ago, we talked about, oh, I wish we could get a better linebacker group. We were horrible at linebacker two years ago. Then you bring in Kaiser White. You know what I'm saying? 
TJ Edwards is getting better and better every year. You know, then you draft Nicole B. Dean. It was looking up. It was looking up. Sometimes I wish that the Philadelphia Eagles with certain positions just threw guys in the fire. Last year would have been a perfect year to throw Nicole B. Dean in the fire. Look at everything else that was around him. He would have thrived. He wouldn't have been no worse than Kaiser White or, or, or TJ Edwards if had you had thrown him in the fire. He wouldn't have been no worse. You know what I mean? You know how much experience and how good he would have been this year had, had he had some playing experience last year. You should have threw Nicole B. Dean in the fire last year. But now we, um, you know, we're heavily relying on him now. You know what I mean? I think he's going to need some help. I think he's going to definitely take a step forward, but you need more than one linebacker. Top reasons to buy in on this guy, Trenton Simpson. Electric range and coverage and pursuit. We see that on the film. Explosive hitting power and exp an exp impressive finishing ability to the football. All that jumps out on the film. Passing down value is rare for a player of his stature. Uh, instincts playing forward or in space against the pass. Top reasons for concern. Not many. Um, not a one size fits all prospect for scheme fit. So I guess, you know, in certain schemes with how big he is, he just doesn't, you know, he doesn't hold up well, which I think is BS. Uh, saw a reduced impact in 2022 when moved into a more traditional stack role. Ability to set the edge or deconstruct blocks in the box is an area for improvement. I mean, when they talk about deconstruct uh, blocks in the box, are they talking about shedding blocks? I, I'm kind of fuzzy on what they mean by that because on the film, I see him being able to trace very well and shed blocks very well to get to the football. So I don't know. Uh, his size, man, 6'2", 235 pounds, arms three, uh, 32 inches, um, hand size 10 inches, athleticism testing. He only ran a 40 of 443. That's amazing. Bench reps, 25 Ideal role, nickel linebacker, scheme fit, multiple front zone pressure schemes. Um, prospect comparison, JOK, Jeremiah Asua Kamara from last uh, 2021 draft. Um, consensus grade, uh, they gave him an eight, uh, 81 out of 100, second round value. Um, Crabs grade, not sure what that is. Um, the Crabs grade was the same, 81 out of 100. Listen, man, I'm I'm high on the kid. I'm high on the kid. We didn't talk about a lot of draft prospects, you know what I mean, going into next season because I felt like it was hard to gauge what we really needed. Now that we don't have uh, Gardner Johnson coming back and we lost both linebackers, we brought back the secondary in Slay and Bradbury, you know what I mean, you need safeties and linebackers now. So this guy, I think, could be an excellent scheme fit for the Philadelphia Eagles, an excellent prospect. He could play off the edge, you know what I mean? He, he's He's versatile. I like the way that he diagnoses plays, as we've seen on the film. This guy could be a monster. The freakish athleticism is there. Listen, it's not going to be many guys that, that look like Michael Parsons coming out the draft. But his body type and what he can do, especially in coverage, reminds me of Michael Parsons. I'm not saying he is as good as Michael Parsons. But he reminds me of Michael Parsons with the versatility factor that he brings to the football team and that he brings to the defensive side of the ball. So, you know what I mean? Shout out to my guy Marcus, man. Uh, shout out to my guy E Money Man off uh, off Twitter. He brought this guy to my attention. Said, "Hey, check him out, LB." And I'm like, "Of course we gonna check him out, man. That's what we do, man." But very impressed with the skill set uh, thus far, and I think that this is a guy that can help the Philadelphia Eagles, man. More draft coverage, man. We are gonna talk about more prospects now that we know the landscape. You know, what I mean, one week after free agency, you know, some of these other guys of other teams they had to talk about free agency in the draft a month ago. We were able to take our time. We just played in the Super Bowl. But you know what I mean? That's neither here nor there. Now it's our time. You know what I mean? It's our time to see what's out there, to see what's left, and to see what Howie Roseman can make happen, man. Let me know what you think in the comments.